tanks fight tirelessly, all day long, from morning till nightfall. But when the sun goes down, everything changes. Long shadows hide those who attack suddenly and then leave under the veil of night. You have to feel your way around, even on familiar paths. Radio sets fail and you hear static instead of the voices of your allies. And those who tried turning on their headlights were never seen again. Welcome to the darkness. Actually, it's not that bad. Night battles in World of Tanks are fun. Two launches of the Arcade Cabinet Darkness of the Night event await you. A completely new experience on three familiar maps. You will see the dark side of Lakeville. Spend a mysterious night in the desert of Sand River. And take in the stunning northern lights with Glacier. The maps look familiar, but the mood and vibe are completely different. They're amplified by unique ambient sounds for each location. The darkness affects the game in more ways than one. Observation devices act up, meaning vehicles have significantly reduced view and rendering ranges. Communication with allies also works at a shorter distance. And spotting time is much shorter. Without bonuses from equipment, vehicles disappear in the dark in just six seconds. At the same time, concealment after firing is 10 times lower. Even the thickest of vegetation might not hide the bright flash from your shot. All the features of night battles can be used to your advantage. Approach unspotted. Attack suddenly. And disappear into the night. Just don't shoot too soon. You might wake up your neighbors. Other than that, it's a familiar arcade cabinet game. 15 v 15 battles only for tier eight and 10 vehicles. The results don't affect your statistics, so don't be afraid to experiment. Every battle brings you closer to the rewards in the arcade progression. Each of the two launches in June and July will have its own stages with rewards. Get ready for hot summer nights. Stay close to your allies or try to sneak behind enemy lines unnoticed. Just be careful not to fall asleep in the bushes.